when governments around the world enter the last phase of their tenure in power, they do their best to keep the electorate happy. Pakistan is no different. General elections in that country are due in July, and the PMLN government faces an uphill battle. Allegations of corruption have hit the party hard. Its leader, Nawaz Sharif, has been forced to exit mainstream politics. As the date of polling draws near, the PMLN does not want to leave anything to chance, which is why something interesting is happening in Pakistan. In an attempt to keep the minority Hindu community happy, the government in Pakistan's Punjab province has decided to spend 20 million Pakistani rupees to renovate a Krishna temple in Rawalpindi city. That is more than $100,000. The funds will be used to give this temple a makeover. Let's tell you a little more about the temple first. It was built in 1897. It is the only place of worship for Hindus in Rawalpindi after partition. Local residents have raised demands in the past for the renovation of this temple. They want it to be expanded, but it may happen only now with elections drawing near. Punjab is also one of the few remaining bastions of the PMLN. Nawaz Sharif's brother Shehbaz serves as the chief minister of this province. Last year, Nawaz Sharif, who still held the prime minister's office at the time, had inaugurated renovation work at the Katas Raj temple. It was also a Hindu temple. Legend has it that this temple was built 5,000 years ago and its foundation was laid by Lord Shiva himself. We don't know. At the inauguration, Nawaz Sharif had said that his government is pursuing a policy to establish Pakistan's identity as a minority-friendly country. The question is, why does the PMLN government want to project such an image? Participation of minorities during the election season in Pakistan remains very poor, abysmally low. While 10 seats out of 342 are reserved for non-Muslims in Pakistan, minorities still remain on the fringes of the election process. Religious minorities, in fact, continue to face inequality and discrimination in that country, as a recent report by Human Rights Watch says that there has been a spike in the number of incidents targeting religious minorities in Pakistan. The maximum number of convicts charged under the controversial blasphemy law are members of religious minorities. They are targeted. In May this year, Pakistan's Interior Minister Ehsan Iqbal narrowly ex escaped an apparent assassination. He's known as a champion of minorities. In 2016, one of the former media advisors to Pakistan's president claimed that the population of religious minorities in that country had declined from 23% in 1947 to around 3 to 4 percent right now, 23 to 4 percent. According to a report in the Atlantic last year, Hindus constitute around 2 percent of Pakistan's 200 million population. At the time of independence, Hindus made up about 15 percent of Pakistani population. Fifty years later, that number dropped to around 1.6 in 1998. That's a decline of about 50 percent. As of today, nearly a million and a half Hindus in Pakistan are eligible to vote. This is the vote bank Nawaz Sharif's party is targeting. The PMLN's decision to support the Hindu minority seems like a balancing act too. Critics of the present government say that Mr. Sharif and his successor, Shahid Khakan Abbasi, have not done enough to tackle hardline groups. Also, the deep state support to terrorists like Hafiz Saeed and Masood Azhar does not help the ruling establishment. Due to this very reason, Western investors remain reluctant to invest in Pakistan. While the recent comments by Nawaz Sharif uh, took a jibe at the military and the ISI, the PMLN government's move to fund the renovation of another temple will needle the sectarian hardliners in this election season. We'll see how that plays out. Thank <laughs> you.